Was that a man or a woman? Because he needs a haircut more than I do. I couldn't tell. Needs a haircut. That's our Donald. Last night's rally was nothing new. The crowd loved him. The people who already hate him will just hate him more. And the media pats itself on the head for not covering it while secretly watching Fox News. Too bad they totally missed an opportunity to call him Hitler. So for the bias impaired, here's news. Trump just reduced the risk of nuclear war. He also got remains of 200 U.S. soldiers back from North Korea just a week after the issue was raised. He's bringing in record low unemployment, helping women and minorities most. He's addressed trade imbalances as our GDP climbs higher. So if he's a monster, he might be the worst monster ever, <laughs> meaning not a monster at all. <laughs> That's why optimism is high. 95% of manufacturers have a positive company outlook. It's good news, even if the elites deny it. And about those elites. You ever notice they always call the other side, and they do this up, the elite. The elite. Why are they elite? I have a much better apartment than they do. <laughs> I'm smarter than they are. I'm richer than they are. I became president and they didn't. And I'm representing the greatest, smartest, most loyal, best people on earth. The deplorables, remember that? <laughs> That's key. Now, bragging is never appealing. But he's not wrong that by wealth he's an elitist, mm -hmm. yet he's still embraced by working classes. No wonder the De Niro's, the Madonna's, Depp's, and Fonda's all unravel. Trump's richer than them all, but closer to the street than they are. How can that be? The answer is he makes promises and fights to keep them. And besides, for you deplorables at the rally, the outraged celebrity class will always deem you to be the uncool kids. Trump defends you against the jerks. So it's not about wealth or apartments. It's about speaking up for people that the media celebrity complex snickers at. And it's why when everything seems to be working out, those snickers seem truly from Mars. Oh, oh, in the Milky Way. Yes. Mm. Did you like that, Dana? Yeah, in the Milky Way. Are you like those silly little puns? Love them. Isn't and Donald Trump jokes. a bit like your rich uncle, always telling your, why can't your buddy get a haircut? Like it's it's yeah, like. Well, it's, look, I grew up in Wyoming, where I was like a, a <laughs> tight, short haircut. Like that was like my my aunt Donna. She's yes. the one who does the haircuts yeah. in the kitchen. Yeah. Every couple weeks there. Just, you know what I was thinking about today? Who what? might else? Uh, just I was trying to think of one other person who had this ability. Somebody who was successful, wealthy, a celebrity, but who is still considered blue collar. Me. I came up with, <laughs> I came up with Clint Eastwood. Oh, yeah. And I think it's partly because of the art that he chose, right? The way right. that he chose to, uh, the, the movies he directed, the how he acted, the things that he did. And I, there's not many others. Yeah. He, spe he speaks uh, the language, Jesse. And it's like, but I, I want to go back to the haircut thing. Sure. Because oh. I believe the haircut thing is about being presentable for a job. That's how a salesman thinks. It's like, get a haircut, Jesse. You, you, if, yeah, clean it up. Clean it. <laughs> yeah, and, but he's also a man's man. And, you know, you speak about these man buns, and you yep. can mock a man bun now in 2018. Greg does. We still can do that. Mm -hmm. And the rest of the people are afraid to talk about other people's appearance because they may be being accused of being like insensitive. Like Donald haircut. Trump's never been afraid of being called insensitive. Right. So <laughs> he's, he's like the common man for a few reasons. One, he's dealt with contractors all his life. Remember, he's like, yeah. I can see smell a contractor but it's true you know as a real estate developer you deal with the pipe fitters the masons the electrical engineers and he's great at that and yeah. he's he also eats fast food not for a photo op because he actually like, likes it yeah. he speaks like in a blunt uh brash style that connects with the average american and to be honest, he's kind of that aspirational celebrity. For many ge generations, people in the rest of the country looked up to Donald Trump. They, they liked the women he was around. They liked the planes. They liked the style. They liked the jets. And if you wanted to become rich in America, you wanted to be like Donald Trump. And let's not forget, before he ran for president, athletes wanted to live in Trump Tower. All the real estate guys, they wanted some, you know, tea times at his golf the most clubs. most cited celebrity in rap music. Exactly. And all the advertising really? executives, they wanted a piece of the action. This guy was it. And then the minute he runs for president, he's Hitler. You know, Trump deals with Masons, not Freemasons. <laughs>
All right, Juan, I know. Look at Juan. That was like the elitist yeah, establishment yeah. versus the everyday Even man. My grandfather was a Freemason, you, though. That explains it, Dana. But my, my mom's side. Mm, are you part of the Trilateral <laughs> Rollins, Commission? Rollins, Wyoming. <laughs> Juan, I know you love that rally. You recorded it and played it five times. Well, I'm just amazed <laughs> you didn't Jesse's take it back. And the question is, the question is the apartment. Yes. His apartment's <laughs> better than their apartment. I know. Oh I know. my gosh! Not only is he smarter, richer, he has a better apartment. apartment. But he also lives in the West Wing. Or oh the my East God! Wing. You talk about a petty person. I, mean, I think everything no, is that was about funny. him. He's being I, funny. I don't think gosh. he was being Have funny. I think that's humor. that's him. That's what the way oh he feels. I got a better apartment, so how come no, I'm not that's elite? That's just his no, no, no. personality. You're taking oh everything so literally. Let me just, oh let me just try to explain it. What yeah, he was saying, it. he was trying to say that he's could, he could be in that group, but you love me and I love you. That's what I got out no, of it. No, no, no. I tell you what it was. It wasn't insulting to anybody. No, I think it was worthy of mockery, I tell you that, because <laughs> oh. my apartment's bigger than yours, my button's bigger than you. I mean, this is the way he talks. Probably. This is who he is. Probably. But I'm just saying, you ask about how he relates to people. You say, well, oh, these other celebrities, they don't have the support of the working man. Let me just tell you something. I'm not sure he has the support of the working man on separating children from parents. Mm -hmm. I don't think he has the support of the working man. What he does is he pushes he them together now. button issues and fear, and he says, you know what? You can hate Hillary Clinton. He had the crowd last night chanting, lock her up, right? Yep. You can, he can say things like, Oh, go home to your mom to this guy. Why don't we? What, why don't you get a haircut? I don't know if that's a man or a woman. <laughs> that is Holy a terrible smokes. impression, Juan. I know no, it's no, not no. very Let me guess. Good. So what about? So he's, oh he hates God. on Clinton. He hates on everybody. Oh my God. And then he says, you know what? Maybe those Hispanics, those uh, immigrants, they're terrible too. They're an infest. And then you say, he said that about they, Hispanics? So I missed no, that. Where, where he's that? talking about that. He, his appeal. I think he Greg, meant MS-13. His appeal is based on hateful I language, can't. and he mm -hmm. appeals to the worst in so many. Okay, so we're all bad people. Kimberly. Uh, I don't know. I think America's great. I think the president was saying that last night. What an incredible country and uh, supporters and trying to do something. He's actually followed through and has had tremendous accomplishments, like we've yes. reiterated numerous times on this show. And I don't know. I, for, for myself, in terms of as a Puerto Rican woman and looking at other minorities, are quite pleased the numbers are going up in terms of, <laughs> no, in terms the of numbers, their Kimberly? favorability about the president, oh. yes. And you see key numbers going down unemployment. Why wouldn't somebody be happy about that? Lower unemployment for women, for minorities, for Hispanics, for blacks. ISIS gone. We've got record job numbers. And Kimberly's apartment's nicer than yours. <laughs> I bet it is. I bet it is. How about John? Remember last night, he not only was attacking Pelosi, and Clinton. He then goes after John McCain. And somebody wow, says, you did watch the rally, Juan. Yes. Right. I can read. We'll, 